What's up guys, welcome back, we're here with our Egglock run in Vault White 2. And as you'll have seen at the beginning there, um, I did do a little bit of training before this episode, and Reed did evolve into a Marsh Tomp. So there he is, Reed, the Marsh Tomp, level 17, the same level as Kong now. Um, he learned Mud Shot when he evolved, but I showed that as well. So he is becoming slightly more able to take on the gym in this city. However, I also did some training for the others, as you can see. Um, Paul is up to level 15, Monty's up to level 15, Raptor's up to level 15, and Hazard's up to level 13. Um, Hazard proving to be slightly more of a hazard to train um, and keep alive. Um, Raptor, I've put up front because, as we saw when we hatched him, he is a rock ground type, so there might be some better ground type moves coming. He learned Chip Away when he hit level 14. And uh, 70 base power, 100 accuracy. I suppose it's better than uh, Growl, which is what he had there before. So, yeah, that's pretty much what's happened in between episodes. And now we are back in the Verbank Complex, and we are going to get on with kicking the bottom of all of these uh, workers. Um, because it's been quite a while since I've done an Egglog episode. I can't quite remember how many of them we fought. I think it was just one. Or was it two? Did we fight that guy over there? Let's find out. Um, yeah, so as I say, I've been focusing on um, Fire Red recently. You've just gotten a week of those, and I feel like I should really try and record some of this. Yeah, I haven't come over here yet. Right, let's fight these guys. I'm going to get a lot stronger so I can impress Roxy. Yeah, good luck with that. She doesn't like anybody. Ever. So, Roxy is the gym leader for this town, in case you were wondering who she is. And we've got a monkey out front, which is a fighting type. Not great for our little rock type raptor. So, without further ado, we will switch into Mondi, who learned air cutter um, when he leveled up. Um, as I say, the best way to get through an egg lock is just to use your type advantages as best you can. And that's what I intend to do. So, let's, um, let's hurt this monkey. Hopefully, that monkey won't hurt us too much. Jeez, nearly killed us. But he did have focus energy on, um, so it should be expected, really. I'm going to portion up. It's for the best. Um, as I say, I've been playing Fire Red so long, I normally I would see that as nothing, but obviously, Egglock run, no one can faint. Really? All five times? Well, we're just going to have to hope we hit first, don't we? Um, Gust. Oh, come on! This monkey can't be faster than me! Oh, God! Monday! Oh, thank God for that. Nearly swore. Oh, dear, dear me! What a nail-biter! Shinx, well, we definitely don't want, um... We want the out for that, so let's get Reed out here. Oh, dear! I'm not, I just need a minute. That was... I Honestly, my heart nearly jumped into my throat there. Okay, so now that Reed's a part ground type, electric moves will have absolutely no effect on him. Um, so he's immune to one of his two weaknesses, and now he only has one really big weakness to grass. Shellos. Uh, Shellos is a ground water type, uh, much like... much like Reed here. Um, who would be good against Shellos? Uh, grass type, but we don't have a grass type. Let me have a look. Um, oh hell, we'll just leave Reed out. So I can't think of anyone else who could take him on. We'll just use Water Gun for all the help it'll be. Harden, eh? Well, at least Harden's not too bad. Could be a lot worse. Could be minimized. I mean, for those of you who've been watching my Fire Red episode, you should know why I don't like minimize. All right, the Shellos goes down, and he's now got a Spinarak, which is Bug type, and Bug types are weak against Flying types and Fire types. And this tell Flying type is pretty much out of commission for a little while. I will put Kong out. Hey, 
eventually I know that um, t that um, what you call Paula will learn a flying type move and we can use Paula for these sort of things but um, I was going to say Tesla and I know that that was wrong and I just couldn't think of another word <laughs> Paula yeah Right, we need to go in the bag and we need to heal up Monty because Monty is really injured. Here you are, Monty. Alright. That was quite the nerve wracking opening battle, I'll give you that. Every day is the same. I get bored when things don't change, so I don't mind battling you. And even get a change of music. That's one of the weird things. Normally you get a change of music for battles. Alright, so Grimer, not too bad, poison type, a little bit of practice for the gym. I know that Raptor doesn't have any ground type moves yet, but, you know, let's just hope he does pretty well. So, I'm going to get up the Sandstorm, and just hope that that does, you know, some continuing damage on Grimer. And then, what? Oh, well, of course, he's Rock type. Um, yeah, that, that should be alright. As long as he doesn't get too many of them on. Otherwise our accuracy will be shot to shit. And now that I've put the sandstorm up, I can't change into anybody else without them getting hurt. Oh, I'm so clever, aren't I? Now it's disabled my chip away, so I'm going to have to use bite. Let's use bite. It's actually going a hell of a lot worse than I thought it would. As I say, I've been away from Egglock for a little while, um, you know, coming back to it's a little bit strange. And the soundstorm has subsided, so that's good, but we are poisoned now, so that's wonderful. And our accuracy's dropping, and as long as he can stop us from hitting him, he can beat us with that much HP. Come on, bite needs to hit. Alright, now we need to switch. Yeah, we need to switch. Um, who needs the experience? Let's put our grammar out here and see what happens. See how you like it, bitch. Hooray! So, so far, every single time we've put Raptor into the fray, Raptor's almost died. Well, technically, because the first time he would have been one-shotted by, um, by that other guy. Monkey. So, I'm a little bit concerned about how fragile Raptor is. So he may be a candidate for, um, getting switched into something else when we hatch our next egg. Oh, great, now we're paralysed. I love the ramped-up difficulty on this thing, it's... It's not so much hard, it's just frustrating as hell because the computer plays like an actual player. And, um, well. Coughing, right, we can't hit coughing with ground type attacks. So, I'm just going to switch into Paula and beat him that way. I know Paula doesn't have anything super effective, but when you haven't got anything super effective, you just use someone. Who's got full health, hopefully. So, you know, let's get on with that. I'm beginning to doubt my my egglock skills because fair enough I got through the beginning without losing anybody and you know I'm I'm doing okay I'm getting a lot of close calls but I'm all right but I'm worried about what the future is going to hold because I know that this game ramps up its difficulty soon and like really soon people start getting really difficult people start having really tough teams and I just don't know whether I can keep up with the demands of this. But for now, I mean it is my most popular let's play at the minute so I suppose I can't just uh, discount it can I? Alright I'm just going to run back to the Pokemon Center and heal up because everyone's got something wrong with them. Um, so as I said um, I'm just recording one of these because it's been a while since you've had one and I don't want to lose subscribers or lose views. 
not that I'm doing it for that, I just don't want people to start going away from my other stuff because I'm not doing this anymore. And, you know, I might not do another one for a little while. These might be a once in a while occurrence until I finish Fire Red and then I'll probably come back to it slightly more permanently. But, um, yeah. So let's go and find that last worker and then we can move on in Verbank City because it feels like I've been on the Verbank complex forever, but that's because I haven't been playing it for a while. Alright, so where is the last worker? Let me have a think. Um, is he down here? No, he's not down here. Is he over here? Yes, he's over here. You go up these stairs, along here, down here, down here. Before we talk to him, we'll grab this item. Which is TM46 Thief. Not a great uh, dark type move, but pretty helpful if you need to get items from Pokemon in the wild. Working at this complex was my dream, but now that it's come true, I've got everything I want. What? A foreman said so? Okay, fine. We just have to battle, right? This guy's actually quite content, and yet he'll still battle us. Worker Isaac. Growlithe. And Raptor. Now, granted, we haven't got anything super effective against him, but I don't think he has anything super effective against us, so... You know, maybe that's helpful. Oh god, he has Justified! Justified is an ability that generally only comes on the uh, legendary... Well, the Knights, tri the Knights trio? Um, Terrakion, Kabalion, and... Um, Oh, what's the other one called? Um, Terragian, Kabalion, and Virizion. Um, and they have this ability where you hit them with a dark type move, their attack and speed raises, so... It's rather strange, really. But the fact that it was on Growlithe just was a little... just... alarming. Never mind. That was quite a powerful uh, bait attack. And then so was Chip Away. It's a good move. I mean, 70 base power is pretty good this early in the game. But I suppose that's the point, right? That's why it's there in the hack, to give you a little bit of an edge. Right, Slugma, I am going to switch into Reed and just water gun this thing. Because Reed is nearly level 18, and that's pretty good. So Reed is like a fire type's nightmare, isn't he? Because he's water and ground type. Two types that will destroy fire types. But never mind. It's just unfortunate that I happen to have one, really. So, Reed is now level 18, which is excellent, and I've beaten all of the workers in the complex. Now, there is another trainer in the complex, and there is a guy over there staring at that pillar that we can talk to. But, we'll do that in the next episode. Hey, you did it, didn't you? This is a token of my thanks. And he gives us TM94 Rock Smash. Notice, TM94. So, it's not an HM, and we don't need it, but we can use it if we want it. It's an alright fighting time move, if this was the normal game I'd probably suggest we get it because, well you know, it's normal game, but this is Volt White 2 and um, yeah, quite difficult really. So that's going to be it for today guys, I know it's quite the short one, but um, I was just giving you something to keep you hungry for more. Um, I'll probably be putting in more Fire Red this week, you'll see them when they come on, and I'll see you guys next time. Ta-ta!